Welcome back to the Vivarium, and today we're going to learn how to tell the sex of a king snake. I know it seems simple, but I've seen a lot of misconceptions online. So, without knowing the sex of these snakes, what do you think? Which one do you think is the male and which one's the female? If we look at the tail length, we can get an idea if we do a side by side comparison. The striped king has a slightly longer tail okay but guess what the striped king is also a slightly longer snake let's see if we can tell the actual length here here we go we've got about an inch to an inch and a half total length for the striper compared to the banded so we some might guess the striper is the male banded is the female based off of relative and proportional tail length I don't think that's good enough. I need to be absolutely sure of the sex of my snakes. If I'm getting a pair that I want to breed in the future. Or if you just want to know the gender of your snake. This one could be, who we're guessing is the female. And to be absolutely sure, we could probe. But that's dangerous because if you probe too far into the tail, you could rupture her uh, reproductive organs. And then she'd be... A nice pet but never be able to breed instead we can pop so you put about one pound of pressure on the anterior side of the cloaca and about five pounds of pressure on the posterior side of the cloaca and you roll your thumb towards the vent from the tip of the tail towards the vent this pushes the hemipenes towards the vent towards the cloaca and then you add a little more pressure then you add a little more pressure and then when you see her musking organs I'm not exactly sure what those are called. Once they're averted like that with and fully engorged with blood, but no hemipenes, you can be pretty sure it's a female. The males also have the musking organ, but they will have hemipenes that pop out just above them. So this one, we can be sure it's a female. Okay. You might think this is really stressful for the snake. It's somewhat stressful. They'll usually poop on you. But you can see I just fed her yesterday and she's not even regurgitating. She's not stressed enough to even regurgitate. So she's fine. She's not adversely affected by this. Whereas if you use probes on a snake this small, you run the risk of causing permanent damage. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're not comfortable popping, don't do it. Take it to a vet. They can do it for you. The striped one, on the other hand, we're guessing is the male. And again, about one pound of pressure on the anterior side of the vent and about two to three pounds of pressure on the posterior side. You're working your thumb from about halfway down the tail towards the vent. You're pushing the hemipenes down, working them towards the vent and then slowly adding a little more pressure and then a little more pressure and then a little more pressure and you can I can already see the hemipenes being averted right there that's the musking organ those are not the hemipenes you can see they're fully engorged with blood but if you push a little bit harder then the hemipenes push out just above where the musk would come out okay a little extra pressure and those are the hemipenes that come out right there they usually come out a little bit farther about the length of the full fully prolapsed cloaca so those are the hemipenes. There we go. You'll see them come out on one or both sides, depending on how much pressure you use. Okay, that is obviously a male. And they're not too stressed out. It's not a very invasive procedure, such as probing. However, probing is necessary to determine the sex of an adult snake. You cannot pop an adult male king snake. It doesn't work. Their hemipenes only come out when they mate. You can't, uh, you, you can't through pressure alone safely pop an adult male king snake. Sometimes they will evert their hemipenes when they musk if they're extremely stressed, but I don't recommend stressing out any snake that much. Okay? 
That's a quick Nature Nate's quick guide on how to pop your king snakes. Again, there is some risk involved with this. You could hurt their tail or their uh, cloaca. So if you're not comfortable using this procedure, take it to a vet and they will do it for you, uh, which is what I recommend. And uh, otherwise, and in addition to that, be safe with your reptiles, treat them nicely, and I'll see you next time on Nature Nate's Vivarium. Have a nice day.